everyone, Amy Love here, and I'm coming on today to share with you this heart box that I altered. It's the, a beautiful paper mache box that I got in my design team kit from Angel Dreamcrafts Kim on Etsy. And thank you so much, Kim, for the box. I love it, and I absolutely loved altering it. So normally, I do cover boxes in fabric, and I thought about doing that, but then I decided not to. It does have fabric elements, of course, but I wanted to uh, use paper and fabric and lace all together. So I used beautiful laces and trims and embellishments from Angel Dream Crafts Kim on Etsy and the beautiful digital kit called Pink Parfait Cafe from uh, Doreen at Ooh La La Vintage Treasures. And you will find a link to both of those stores uh, below in my description box. So be sure you go over and check them out. Absolutely lovely ladies with beautiful, beautiful things to play with. So on the box, I decided to, I'd paint it pink. And so I did, I used, I think it's a chalk paint called Ballet Slipper from Waverly. And so I paint, started by painting the box. And then I printed off a beautiful paper uh, from the kit, from Doreen's kit. And of course, I then proceeded to cover it up because that's what I do. <laughs> and then I, um, <coughs> excuse me, I cut this off of one of the paste, uh, I think it was one of the postcards in the kit. That's where that came from. And I just layered up luscious laces from Kim around it and under it and on top of it and then I wanted to have like a waterfall on the side coming out from the flower cluster so on top of the pleated tool trim I put my favorite dangle from Kim's shop right there two layers of it it's just beautiful then I gathered up some of this beautiful um, heart tool fabric from uh, Kim's shop I love this stuff I've been putting it on everything it's amazing and now my dog and cat are having an episode behind me so please um, don't be alarmed by the meows and stomping feet. <laughs> um, I made this flower cluster using some paper flowers from Prima and then some uh, fabric flowers I had in my stash. Some of them came from uh, Hobby Lobby, I'm sure. And I added some bead sprays and I tucked in some bling from Kim's shop. Oh my goodness, you guys. Wow. Really, they're just aggravating each other. It sounds like somebody's dying, but I promise you, <laughs> they're just fooling around. And so I also tucked in some of her laces here and there. And then I took this tool and took bits of it and just kind of stuck it in places. So there'd be little puffs of tool sticking out, which I think is so cute. And these Prima flowers came already uh, glittery, which was amazing. Um, these flower, uh, leaves leaf appliques came off of a trim from kim's shop and i'm sorry they are just throwing me off everybody settle down please goodness gracious this key came from kim's shop i just love it it's so pretty isn't it gorgeous and then i popped on a big bow i couldn't be happier with how this top uh turned out and then it's just painted uh, on the inside and around the edges and I kind of put the tool coming off the top so that it wouldn't interfere too much with the uh, opening and closing of the box. So for the box, I painted the whole thing inside and out with that ballet slipper. And then I used this gorgeous fabric from Kim's shop. She's carrying fabric now and I couldn't be happier about it. Thank you, Kim. So this is one of her beautiful uh, fabrics. And then I just went around with this dusty pink um, Chinese braid. It's just gorgeous. It, le it looks dusty pink to me. I'm not actually sure if it's tan. I don't know. I can't tell right now. But it, it's pretty and it gave such a nice finishing touch to the box. Now let me talk to you about what I decided to surround the box with. I decided to make a snippet roll to go all away around the box. So I started with snippets of fabric that I sewed together. Then I put down a beautiful lace from Kim's shop right here on the on top of that. And then I hand sewed on these beautiful appliques that I snippety snipped off of one of Kim's uh, trims. Then I printed these off from the Pink Parfait Cafe kit on fabric. 
and then I sewed them down to a piece of cotton with some of the heart tool fabric in between made little fabric patches and then I sewed those down by hand to the snippet roll and then I went through and I sewed on buttons and pearls and then some beautiful bling from Angel Dream Crafts so I sewed that on in that gorgeous and this little tiny bow absolutely in love with that and let me see what else I've got there you can see the laces I used from Kim's shop so so pretty some more buttons another beautiful um, digital on fabric from uh, Doreen's shop. This beautiful dangle bow, just love it. That's from Kim's shop. And this, look at this. This is like one of my favorite images from that kit and I just wanna put it on everything, Doreen, I love it. And then this gorgeous little heart charm is from Kim's shop. My camera's of course not gonna focus on that at all. And then this dangle heart charm is from Kim's shop too so pretty and that beautiful so i just i actually love how that turned out this is probably the second time i've covered a box with a snippet roll and i love it right i think it's so cute plus i love to hand sew the bits on a snippet roll so i just think it's so cute so the box turned out really great i love it um i'd love to hear what you think and like i said i do have a video where um I made some of the top with you on a video and I'll link that up here in the iCards and I'll put a link to both shops below and I would love it if you would leave me a comment and let me know what you think and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye everybody.